guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to tell you guys since I haven't gotten the chance to yet, but happy new year. I'm a little late to the game. Late to the game. I should probably never do that again. I just want to wish everyone a happy new year. Um, I know I have a bunch of things on my list that I'm going to knock out this year. Just a quick word of advice, you guys. It is a new year. It is a new decade. Go for whatever it is your heart desires. No matter how big, no matter how small, if it's a bad habit you think that you really just need to break, this is the year to do it. This video is a voiceover, you guys, just like the last one. And if you want to find out how I got this look, then keep on watching. I'm just filling in my brows really quickly with, I believe it's Maybelline's Brow Precise. I use the Studio Fix Concealer by MAC and an angle brush by e.l.f just to kind of clean up everything. Before I put my foundation on, I use this powder by Dermablend just to kind of keep me matte throughout the day. My favorite, favorite, favorite new found jewel is this Bobbi Brown foundation. I'll be sure to link it down below. Um, I'm just applying it using this foundation brush. I believe this brush is from Ulta, but I'm not sure exactly what brand. So I'm going to blend all that out with my Real Techniques sponge. I'm going to go in and do the other side of my face, blend out my forehead, and then I'm just going to kind of like shape up my brows a little bit. I'm using my K Collection Eyebrow Pomade. I'm not selling it as of right now, but if you do need a pomade or two, just let me know. So I keep these Neutrogena wipes on hand simply to, of course, take off my makeup, but to spot clean my brushes in between each use. For concealer, I'm using my LA Pro Girl Concealer in Toffee. I started actually mixing this with another concealer that you're going to see coming up in a few. Um, I apply this stuff super heavy. You don't have to go this hard. This is the Born This Way Concealer. It is in the shade Medium, which is a bit too light for my skin tone. I bought it because it'll brighten the toffee just a little bit when mixed together. Next step, I'm just going to blend everything out. I'm using my Real Techniques sponge. I used to hate this thing, literally, but I kind of just had to get used to using a slightly bigger sponge than the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is still my old faithful, you know, I would always go back, but sometimes when I want to kind of switch up my technique a little bit, this Real Techniques sponge does the job. You guys, I left everything in real time for this video just to kind of give you an idea of how long it takes to achieve almost like an airbrush finish, seamless look. Guys, you're going to be literally blending forever, but the results at the end are well worth it. This brush I picked up from Ulta, it is by Real Techniques and it is literally amazing. It's amazing for blending out your concealer, especially when you kind of want to mesh your concealer and your foundation together.
now I'm taking my setting powder. This powder is by Dermablend. I believe it's in the shame Translucent. Stop, you guys. This is a major key, okay? I am tired of seeing ridges on eyelids packed with concealer. Girl, if you don't snatch that eyelid, okay? You see what I'm doing here? Okay, that's what we're doing in 2020, okay? We're not gonna have any more concealer crease lines. This is another no-no, you guys. Never blend out with just the brush. You wanna take some kind of brown shade or some kind of foundation shade, like I'm using here in this Anastasia Beverly Hills kit, and you kinda just wanna buff out your powder with this foundation shade. It'll definitely prevent flashback, and it'll give you almost like a more fleshy look. Now I am lightly contouring. I used to go ham when it came to contour, but recently I've really been appreciating more natural looking contours, but that's just me. If you wanna pack it on, girl, by any means, go right ahead. With my blush, I'm also going to apply it extremely lightly. This blush you can pretty much pick up in the drugstore. It's by Black Radiance and I'll definitely link it below. I'm going to line my lips with this liner that I snagged from Colourpop. It's literally the perfect brown if you're my shade or maybe a little bit lighter. So I've been addicted to this lip combo I've been doing. It's actually almost like a trio. Two of the lip glosses are from Colourpop and then the other one is from Buxom. Lately, I've literally been gravitating to any mascara. I haven't found one that I really, really, really like except for the Better Than Sex mascara. If you guys have any mascara recommendations, I would greatly appreciate them. So after I was finished with my mascara, I applied my mink lashes off camera. I'm just going to add some highlighter and literally, that's it. Nonetheless, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Especially, thank you for watching until the end, okay? Me and you this we right here okay <laughs> please be sure to like this video give me a big fat thumbs up and share this video if you found anything useful in here that can help another girl out okay i can't wait to put out more content for you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye